up beautiful nerdy peoples, tis I, the Otaku Review. How is it going? I have a lovely figure review for you today, and it is from the lovely anime that is My Hero Academia. I have uh, two series of figures to review. I've been dying to review these for a while. Uh, some I bought at uh, London MCM um, in May, and some I bought um, from various sellers, so um, Anime UK, and um, one of my Facebook friends who runs a figure page. So super happy to share them for you today. So um, I have the uh, Age of Hero series, which was out around uh, December time. Um, so these are, I think, made by uh, a company called Jaya. And these are also made by the same company. And these were the more recent figures. Uh, these are from the uh, Amazing Heroes Volume 2. Um, so I need to get Volume 1, which is of... Um, I think it's Deku and uh, Bakugo, and I really need Bakugo, but he's always the most expensive and hard to find. So um, anyway, I've got Deku, and I have Super Fire Icy Boy uh, Teruki. So looking forward to opening him up, and I also have the Age of Heroes All Might, which is a really, really awesome figure. And I have the more recent Deku, which uh, came out last month. So without further ado, let's spin the camera around and show you the nerd stuff. So my beautiful peoples, here are the uh, first two figures that I'm going to review, and obviously these are Crane King. Uh, so if you know what Crane King is, they are generally figures that are in Crane Games in Japan, and usually you can win them via like app games like uh, Torobora, or um, just buy them from various retailers who can manage to get hold of them, because usually there's like um, players who will like just try and win like loads and loads of them so people can buy them overseas so it's kind of fair that people can get figures that are generally um exclusives uh so my one here is a funimation exclusive so um i didn't actually see this when i got the box originally when i bought this i thought i was getting the um uh grandista figure which is i think about 30 centimeters tall uh, so when i got the box i was a bit surprised how small it was but nonetheless it's a pretty damn sweet figure so this is number two in the series deku and this is number one in the series which is all might so let's start with number one which is mr all might himself so ah 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 so do not fear for he is here sorry can't hear this i love all might he is amazing and i love that chris about voice is in because uh, who else would voice him better i'm sorry but he's pretty cool uh, so here is Mr. All Might himself looking amazing and uh, the details on this figure are surprisingly really good. Uh, well, well, from Ben Presto, you can't really expect um, anything better because they are amazing when it comes to figures. <sighs> Sorry, he's a bit dusty because he's been on my shelf for uh, some time. So here is his facial detail. So <laughs> Sorry if my camera's a bit blurry. So they kept his eyes all black. They've done the teeth really well. I find that some figures, when they do teeth, they tend to put too much much black and yeah it looks a bit weird uh they've kept his uh trademark sort of little hair tufts so that's super cool and i like that they've um done various shading of yellow rather than keep it all one color and they've done the muscle tone very well on the figure so obviously you can see here um sorry for the lights a bit glary in here it's not a particularly sunny day out at the moment it's a bit overcast but anyway back to the figure so they've done good to somewhat detail on his gloves there's a little bit of mist paint here uh, i can't complain because i just have this figure in general and they've got a really cool detail on his belt i didn't realize it kind of looked like an owl it's kind of weird it reminds me of the um gray falcon dude from um an a little swim cartoon but anyway and there are his big ass boots so yes and on the back we have all of his outfit I, I think this is his uh golden age outfit i think because there's various outfits he wears from when he starts off his career as a hero and uh yeah there you have <laughs> come on guys this is america's ass <laughs> because all might did start his superhero in america so <laughs> da -da 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 -da. sorry i'll stop now <laughs> so um yeah, I do love this figure, and yeah, it is quite hefty, obviously it is resin, and so it is a pretty badass figure, so if you are a My Hero Academia fan, this is a must to start your collection. So, let us get on to the next figure, please um, forgive my squeaky ass little stool. Uh, here we have Deku, sorry he's also a bit dusty, so here is um, Deku in the All Mage, so basically he's holding his glove, uh, that's pretty cool because it's just nicer from a standard pose to have them doing something slightly different. Come on camera, focus. 
focus for me there we go so there is his facial detail which is surprisingly well done the decals on his eyes are really cool and they've even got his little tiny tiny freckles and there is his mask which is pretty darn cool it doesn't move it's uh glued down unfortunately um but not to worry uh the gloves i think look a little bit too dark but that's just me because i'm used to him wearing sort of more of a creamy white rather than a tan uh but nah, that's that's me and there's even sort of some shading and detailing on his um belt clips or belt pouches i should say he doesn't actually use anything in them. I think it's just a, you know, traditional hero look to have some pouches on your outfit. Kind of like Batman, I guess. And there's even ruffles in his clothing. And here we have his massive <laughs> over five boots, which are pretty cool. Um, well, I say um, uh, armour. That's his armour. And then his boots are generally here because he keeps his original outfit that his mother bought him uh, for Hero Academy. And then he just wears some boots. <laughs> so, yeah, a pretty darn cool figure nonetheless. So I love it. And uh, this one I got from Anime uh, Z, which is a, a UK-based anime company. So if you love your figures and live in the UK and looking for some decent collectibles, check these guys out. Uh, their postage is really good. they got great customer service and I highly recommend them. So I'll put a link to their website in the bottom. And even on the back, they give you a little teeny tiny anime calendar, which is super cute to put in your wallet to keep track of all those dates for anime conventions. <laughs> So please note this is not a sponsored video. I bought this from the company directly to review for you. So just going to pop that there. And even super nicer of the company, they gave me a little freebie and they gave me a pack of some Dragon Ball Z stickers. And these are pretty old actually. These are from uh, 2001. So <laughs> these are, yeah, these are pretty cool. So I'm going to just open these briefly because I've been dying to know what stickers I have because it's got Future Trunks and Cell on it. So if I've got anything from the Android Saga, I'm happy because that's one of my favourite sagas, actually. I love the Androids. I love Android 18. She's pretty badass. Oh, these do look cool. They're, they're, they're even wet, sort of yellowed on the back. Uh, so it says we should have six stickers, but um, they're all stuck together, which is a bit worrying. But... Oh, hey, hey. So let's see who we got. Sorry, they're all stuck together, so I'm just unpiecing them. So we have a gold sticker of Mr. Goku. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's like some of those ones you build up piece by piece. So pop that there. And then we have, ooh, we have a King Cold, aka Daddy. <laughs> then we have uh, Android 19. I never liked him. He, he always, I just never liked him. He was, he was just, meh. Then we have a uh, little Gohan with uh, Mr. Piccolo, and he's got his little sword when he's training. Uh, then we have just a generic shot of Piccolo and Goku. And then we have one of the Ox King and Chi Chi looking pretty pissed off driving. <laughs> but hey, hey, so yay, pretty cool. I like the gold Goku sticker, so I might stick those on my laptop or put them in my Dragon Ball cabinet because I don't generally like using stickers because these are quite old. So I might, I don't know, I don't know what to do with them now. But anyway. Freebies are freebie, I'm not going to complain. So thank you, Anime Z. So let's go on to the next figures of the um, Amazing Hero set. Okay, so here we have the next duo of figures. So this is, like I said, from the Amazing Hero series, uh, volume... Well, this is from volume one, and this is from volume two. So uh, I'm not sure if there's meant to be duo figures in the set, but on the boxes, there are just shots of the figures themselves. So here we have Shodokuroki, best boy and but my best boy is Bakugo I'm sorry but all the girls love Toradoki because no matter what figure he's always the most expensive and Bakugo is generally second expensive but anyway and here we have uh Midoriya so pretty cool so um the, bo the boxes are pretty generic but they are pretty cool so if um you want to display them then you can no matter what pose you have you have a pretty interesting image to display and I like how they match up that they're facing each other off on the boxes which is pretty darn cool so anyway without further ado let us show you the wonderful cranking Baron Presto figures so I'm going to start with Midoriya because he's from volume one and uh I got these from my buddy uh Neil Martian they're a a local um, anime company that live in my hometown that I found out a few years ago and 
kept seeing them at MCM every now and again and uh, made, became good friends with them and they always do me a good deal when I see them um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I buy loads of figures from them so <laughs> they're not going to complain anyway, let's get on to the figure itself so here we have Midoriya-kun I've got to be careful with this one because the base does fall off uh, a lot so if you do get this figure just be aware this little um, little jigger here, uh, the stand, it does fall out if you move it a lot um, but other than that it is amazing so let us get on to the first thing which is the facial detail so here we have him looking quite angry as he's just about to face off Teruduki I loved the battle that they did in the um, the, the um, game the superhero games um, sort of Odyssey uh, that was pretty cool the, amaz the animation in that was top notch and uh, yeah it was um, just amazing to watch it's like every time you watch one of those battles you just wanted more and more uh, so anyway here we have uh, Medora with his sort of weird bunny hoodie as I like to call it and his pouches are look really super cool again they are shaded in various different reds and I like how his clips actually do just a standard sort of clip that you'd use for generic cosplay <laughs> that's pretty cool and um like the mask on the other figure it wasn't metallic but this one is which um adds a nice sheen to it and they've even got all the holes drilled out which is super cool and even the detailing on his boots. I'm sorry about the shadow on my camera, but no matter what light I go into my room, I just get constant shadow, which is annoying. But I've been dying to just get these figures reviewed. So even like the detailing on his boots, and even just like the laces are moulded. And they look really cool. And you've got little tips on the laces as well. I literally just noticed that. It's just so nice. And even stitching on the sides of his boots and even just detailing on the bottom of his shoe. It's just this is why I love Crane King and Banpresto figures. They go all out with detail on figures. It's just like you get sort of collectible toys in America and they're very clunky and they have joints and it's just like i hate those star figures it takes away from the element in my opinion like those dragon ball collection figures in the black boxes yeah they're cool characters and a great lineup but i hate the joints that's why i like Ban presto they're a little bit more hidden but um the other one i've currently got is little barris but anyway we're not talking about dragon ball we're talking about my hero so here we have deku looking cool and even the hair is really nicely painted so you've got from variant light green whitish green to sort of very dark turquoisey green i think that's just amazing paint it's just so nice sorry my camera is really bad today so yeah they're super cool so let's put mr deku right there and we shall go on to the next figure, which is Mr. Far Icy Boy, and who has the um, cook of half fire, half ice, or half and half bastard, as uh, Mr. Bakugo likes to call him. I don't want to swear too much in case I get uh, monetized. So I love this figure. It's just so cool. Mind you, I say about that every figure because they're amazing. So here is Mr. Turidoki. I love the decals on his eyes and even just like the the decal for his scar from his burn mark is super cool and i love the clear resin that they used for his uh fire ability it's super cool come on camera be nice there we go and um all the that sort of detailing for all the strands of his hair is super cool and they've done a really nice paint job between the split no marks or anything at all and the armor on him is really nicely molded and detailed so all events he doesn't have a lot to his outfit because obviously he has to use his arms mainly for his quirk um and then we have the detail for the ice again I like that they did the clear for the fire, but why didn't they do the clear for the ice? That's what bugs me a little bit, but that's just me. You might like it as this. So, sorry, camera, there we go. And even just the detailing on his hands, you can see like all the lines on his fingers and his fingernails. Damn, this camera is not being nice to me today. So, yeah, you can see all the shading as well on his wrists and his palms. And then we have all the detailing on his belt. I like that they've made the accessories on his belt like they're moving as he's jumping. So they're not static. So it adds a little bit more expression to the figure. And as well on the back of the belt, you can see. booty. <laughs> and even down to the detailing on his boots. As you can see, you have all the zipper and the uh, marks on the bottom of his shoes are super duper cool the base on this one stays a little bit better um it 
is better fixed in my opinion because the De Deku has the stick to hold his knee up and the one going into the back. Well, this one is pretty much just a fixed base here and the, um, the stand part here, which I think works a lot better. So let's put them together as they're about to deck it out. And as you can see, they look really super cool. And it makes a really nice display piece for your collection. So that is it for the My Hero Academia series figures. I will try and get some more at some point. I have two others, but I've had them for quite some time. Um, so I'm not going to go into those at the moment as I reviewed them in past videos. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief video. And as always, please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification button up there. So ring a ding ding and join me for my next figure reviews. So bye. -bye.